uh, so obviously, as you all, got, you all know, uh, data is a, is a big thing during COVID-19. So we've been doing a lot of um, different pieces of, of work kind of behind the scenes around that. Um, you know, things around, uh, as, as Peter has been doing um, uh, for, for Ada Lovelace Institute, things around contact tracing and, and symptom tracking and um, uh, uh, immunity passports and what those kinds of things look like um, and obviously we've been discuss we've been uh, involved in those discussions um, but they're uh, what we thought that we could kind of uniquely add because the um, the there are lots of other national organizations that are doing and international organizations that are doing work around uh, privacy around this kind of data is actually pushing more of an open data agenda around it. So um, we managed to secure a little bit of funding from, from Luminate to help support this work. And it's, it's broken into three parts. Um, there's one part, which is the thing that we're really pushing public, which is that, that they can help us to subsidize working directly with organizations that are wanting to open data and help them to do that well. Um, that includes obviously uh, publishing it well but also um, making sure that you're not pushing out stuff that shouldn't be made available as open data in the first place um, so we're working with YouGov for example on the data that they published which is individual level data and highly I, I would say revealing too much um, information as open data for example and working with um, other organizations such as symptom tracker apps who are uh, that have been built um, and that want to share that data back but don't really know how to do it. Um, so direct work and help and that offer is, is out there and open for any other organisation that needs help with publishing open data. Um, but then we also have two other strands of, of work. So one is uh, around kind of research, looking at how open data is being published, where that's been doing being done well where it's being done not so well um, what can we learn from that how are different countries doing it how are different regions doing it and so on and trying to pull that together so that it's not we, we want to do that in a way that that contributes to existing efforts to list stuff um, but actually draw out some patterns and lessons and uh, and some analyses over the top of that so we've got one strand that is going to be focused on doing that over the next six months um, and then another strand within that uh, that piece about what is going on and what does, does good practice look like, especially kind of publishing open data in an emergency or publishing open data uh, at speed. Um, we're trying to pull together some some proper guidance around that that we'd love, uh, and I think has already been shared with some of you at least. Um, we'd love feedback on both around how to do that from a publication perspective and also how to uh, manage risks around publishing open data. So we've got a couple of pieces of guidance that we're working on and, uh, and should be public really soon. Um, and then third strand of work is just about pushing the message around open data um, in the press, in the media, in organisations that are, uh, tend to be a little bit or, or have locked themselves down because they're trying to do everything in a rush. Um, and trying to get them to be more open and open stuff up and publish their code and publish their data and just do that kind of uh, noisy and quiet advocacy for all of this. Um, so that information is all on our on our website about the the project and the particular call to action as in um, if you are wanting to publish some data as open data 